Welcome back. Today we are looking at buildings and building heights. By the end of this video you'll be able to download the buildings and building heights for any area of the world that you're interested in. We can do this because a new data set called Global Building Atlas has been put together and released to the public. I'll put a link in the description below but it's well worth reading the methods on how this is put together. Dealing with that raw data set may be a little tricky, but thanks to the work that Mark has put in, we can very easily bring this into QGIS. This is Mark's blog, I'll put a link to this in the description below as well, but do read this, it has further steps on how he has processed the data set for us, and also some interesting insights on its accuracy, etc. In QGIS, the process is really simple. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in a base map so that we can see where we are in the world. I'm going to go to the browser, drop down XYZ tiles, as you will have seen in my last couple of videos, and we'll just bring in OpenStreetMap. I'm going to zoom into somewhere of interest. Let's go for Central Leeds. That looks quite fun. And the next thing we'll need is something called GeoParquet Downloader, and that is under Plugins. Manage and Install Plugins. And then from Installed, I'm going to go to All, and I'm going to search for GeoPark. Should do it. There's GeoParquet Downloader, and install that. I can close out of the plugins now. That has successfully installed. You'll find the newly installed plugin somewhere on your toolbars. My icons are slightly enlarged so that you can see them more easily, but if I go up to where the Python console is, I can use the extra arrows to drop it down. And there's Download Geo Parquet Data. That is what we want. So I'll click that to open it up. Instead of Overture Maps or anything else, I want a custom URL. And then I'm going to paste in the URL right there. Pause the video if you want to look at that or just go to Mark's blog where you can copy and paste it. One very important thing to note before clicking OK, make sure that your extent is set to something sensible. If you zoom out and try to install or download an entire country's worth of data, that is going to be huge and it will take a long time to download. So better to start out with a very small area and make sure that everything's working and then you can gain some idea of how large these files will be. So I'm going to click OK. You will be asked where to save it to, so choose a suitable folder or location on your machine and just hit save. When it's finished downloading, your buildings will just ping into QGIS and if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that the buildings have downloaded according to wherever my extent was set. Mark includes a nice additional step on his blog, which is just to apply some 2.5D styling. So I can select the layer in the layers panel, open up the style panel, make sure that I've got my building selected as the layer two style, and then just drop down this. Instead of single symbol, I will go for 2.5D. Things will go a little haywire at first, but if I change the height to this expression, then we get a nice representation in 2.5D of these buildings. If you want more information about them, as ever, you can use the Identify Features button and you can click on a particular building, it'll give you some additional information. The source is interesting uh, for this area of the world, a lot of them come from OSM. But in that original paper and also in Mark's blog, there is discussion of other sources, how up to date they are, how accurate they are, etc. So do go and have a look at them. But I think that is all for now. Enjoy counting all the buildings in the world. Spoiler, there's about 2.75 billion of them. All right, happy mapping. Goodbye.